Hey folks, what's going on? Chad Williams here, aka Rational Responder, reporting to you live from Bellflower, California. Um, just getting off work here at Living Waters, about to go home, and I wanted to share with you folks a real quick tip on dealing with the problem of evil. All right, so you folks might encounter this when you're out there witnessing or at home at the dinner table, I don't know, or at the doctor's office, whatever. I know I encounter it all the time. And the person will challenge you with what is known in philosophy or logic as a false dichotomy. That's this particular brand of an issue that they bring up. Uh, this is how they present it. And let me explain what a false dichotomy is. A false dichotomy is when the person presents you with a problem and they only give you two options to choose from for the solution. When in reality, there's more to choose from than those two options, but they present it as though they are the only two options, okay? So this is how it goes. They often will say something like this. If God is all-powerful, or omnipotent, and benevolent, loving, uh, then why is it that he doesn't destroy all the evil in the world? Because it seems to me that if God is all-powerful but doesn't destroy all the evil in the world, that must mean that he's not loving, he's not benevolent. Or if God is loving but doesn't destroy all the evil in the world, that must mean that he's incapable of destroying the evil, therefore not all-powerful or omnipotent, but he is impotent. You see how they did that? They gave you two options as if they're the only options, when in reality, there's a third option here. And the third option is this. Let me put it to you this way. You answer the person like such. Take a quick look at your watch right now and tell me what time it is. Okay. It's 4.33 p.m. Okay, if God were to destroy all the evil in the world at 4.34, what would happen in the moment that he decrees that for you? Chirp, chirp. You see, God can and will destroy all the evil in the world. In fact, in Acts chapter 17, it says there's coming a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness, that he's going to do away with evil. But here's the good news. Thanks be to God that he hasn't destroyed all the evil in the world. Because if he did decree that in that moment then, at 434, he would cease to exist. And that's just how it is. So a lot of times they might answer something like this. Well, I, I don't know where I'd be. Well, then that's a good opportunity to jump into it then and get into the law with them. Ask them, okay, well, let's find out. Uh, have you ever told a lie? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever used God's name in vain? So you see, they set up a false dichotomy as if there's only two options when in reality, there is another option out there to choose from. The good news and thanks be to God that he hasn't destroyed all the evil in the world, that he will. I sure am happy that he didn't destroy all the evil in the world before March 14th, three years ago when I became a Christian. And so he's holding on. It says that God is long-suffering. He's patient. He's waiting for those. He's held back his hand. And you never know when that moment's going to come. Another really quick tip that I wanted to share with you folks that has to do with watches. I put my watch on the outside of my t-shirt so that this would be easier to do. All right, I was talking to Ray Comfort a little bit earlier, and I got a phone call from one of my friends. I just picked up the phone real quick. I said, hey, um, let me give you a call back, all right? All right. So put the phone down. And Ray looks at me and he says, hey, how are you going to remember to call them back? And I said, well, you know, I'll just remember it in my head. And he goes, you know, sometimes you can forget to call somebody back. You know what I do? And I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, I do forget to call people back sometimes. What do you do? He says, I take my watch and he flips it over, turns it over. He says, I leave it like that. He says, whenever I flip my watch and I turn it like that, put my hand down, suppose I forget about it five minutes later, I'll notice that my watch is upside down like this and I'll remember whatever I was supposed to remember. So there you have it. There's uh, two tips right there. Um, one, the problem of evil, how to deal with it. Ask the person what time they have on their watch and ask them, you know, where would they be if God decreed that he destroyed all the evil in the world in that next moment? It, bring, it brings it back to them. It makes it personal. Instead of being off of them, it brings it back onto them. And then you could deal with them there. And you could tell them, thanks be to God that he hasn't destroyed all the evil in the world. That there's not only those two options that he provides a way out through his son, Jesus Christ, that they just repent of their sin, that put them up there on the cross and put their faith and trust in him. And the other cool little tip that I'm totally going to start using from now on is setting it and forgetting it. <laughs> and uh, then I'll remember to call people back. And it worked. It really did. Uh, I called my friend back. So I hope that this message finds you folks well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.